video we're going to have a look at one of those must-have plugins in WooCommerce which is the sidebar shopping cart if that's what you're looking to use and I just wanted to show you this plugin here it's from a company called Zootix that's installed they have two versions they have the free version and of course they have a premium version but the free version is probably going to serve the needs of most people so we're going to install that and just have a quick look to see how it works plugins installed and you'll see on the left hand side in your menu you now have a menu item called site cart we'll quickly go and have a look and you'll see that there are a couple of default settings that are already set and one of them is uh, to enable the plugin from the beginning so let's just quickly have a look and see how it works out the box without making any changes so here we are on our shop and we'll refresh the page and then we'll have a look at adding some items to our cart. You'll we'll see now that we have a little basket that appears on the right hand side and if I should say add to cart you'll see that the item is immediately added to the cart. I then have some quick links I can view my cart, continue shopping or check out. If I go and have a look at a particular product on the page and I add to cart, you'll see once again adds it immediately. From here I can go to view cart. From here I can also delete an item. So you'll see a uh, very nice and easy to use plugin straight out the install without any customization. If we have a quick look at the mobile view so let's have a quick look to see how this would operate in the mobile space and what we'll do is just click on that button and there you see the product if I click on the product it'll take me back to that product page and I can go to categories perhaps and just to show you I can either then click in the empty space to the left to to hide or I can click on the cross at the top to hide. So it works very well in the responsive mode straight out, out the box. So let's just go and have a look at some of the settings. So here in the back end we have a number of settings and I'm going to say uh, to show or hide pro settings. So what we'll do initially is we're going to hide the pro settings and then later on we can come back and have a look at, at those but there are a couple of nice settings that you can create you can auto open cart or not and also Ajax, Ajax add to cart means that it will load without refreshing the page so you can also disable that the page will then reload every time you add something to the cart and you can also disable the auto open cart I prefer to leave it active so that when somebody adds something to their cart they can see what's in it and they also then have the buttons to proceed to the checkout immediately so as soon as they're ready they can head to the checkout and make their purchase just a couple of other things you have your recently added item as the last item or you can move it around to the top item and then on the basket count we have the number of products or the sum of quantity of all the products I just prefer to leave it on the number of products and there are some options here uh, like do not show on cart do not show cart on pages where you can disable it um, but I prefer to just leave it in use um, on all the pages anyway there are a couple of other settings there that you can have a look at um, but it's really easy to set up works really well when it comes to styling you can also set the sidecar width you can also decide if you want it uh, in full height or auto adjust uh, full height is just a lot neater and easier for the person on the website you can also sp sp um, specify open from the left or the right from the right seems to be better you can also use a custom font for the side card, but uh, generally it's good to have it integrate with your existing theme. And 
you can also decide uh, when to show or to hide the cart. So when it's empty, it's hidden, hidden, and when there's something in, it shows. But that's just a personal preference. Um, yeah, and there are a couple of other things like show count, um, basket position. So you can have it at the bottom or the top of the page. The bottom just seems to make more sense. You've got the offset uh, from the bottom or the top, depending on that position. And generally, the default setting looks fine. Once again, the offset, that's fine. Uh, where to put the count position. Uh, most of the settings that are here uh, are probably going to work as you want them. What you can do, though, is you can, if you wanted to, then come in and just change the basket color, maybe the current background color, if it uh, needs to change to fit into your theme more. Then you've also got, for example, the side cart header that you can style, the side cart body, the side cart body, which is for the product, and then the side cart footer. You'll notice there's some buttons at the bottom of the page, so you can move these around. Uh, whichever way that you want it just makes sense to leave it in that style you can also change the button row so instead of having uh, one in a row you could decide to have two in a row or one and then two below so uh, a very easy way of doing it or you might want to have three in a row so at the moment it's uh, one 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 if we were to go say uh, two in the first and then one it's really quick. Click on save. It's saved. Head over to your page. Refresh. And now you'll see we have two buttons and then the one big checkout button. Right, so that's uh, the side card footer. And then, of course, you can head on over to some advanced settings if you have some additional CSS. And if you do have an issue with uh, the, the, the cart showing correct prices, then you can enable this, which will run a script, which will then just make sure the prices are updated every time added to cart. That could only be if there was something in your theme that maybe prohibited that from working. Then, just to let you know what's available in the Pro version, you can update the quantity in your side navigation. You can also select your own icons for the basket. You can show the shipping. Um, you can show coupons. You can do all of that. Uh, the shipping fee, the coupon discount can all be done then from the side cart. There's also, as I said, the shipping calculator, a play and display of coupons. Uh, you can increase sales by showing cross sales, upsells, related products, show notification on ad, update, delete. There's a shipping bar. The remaining amount for free shipping, a one click PayPal checkout, and then there's a header menu short code that you can use anywhere, and there are additional styling options. So you don't necessarily need to use the, the pro version, but it does have a few other features that you might want to, to use. So in order to show you the difference between the two, I'm going to install the pro version now, and then we can compare. So at the moment, what we have is we have the cart header at the top of the page. We have the product. We have a subtotal. Continue shopping. View cart. Checkout. Um, nice and neat, uh, compact view. So I'm now going to install the pro version, and then we can just compare the difference between the two. So I've uploaded and installed the side cart premium plugin. Now if we head over to Sidecart, uh, you'll see now that we don't have that preview uh, for um, the premium options. And before we do any changes, we'll just go quickly, refresh the page, and have a look and see what the difference is in the Sidecart. So now when we click on the Sidecart, you'll notice that we have an option here now to, um, to increase the number of products straight from the box. And as I increase here, you'll see that the price changes. So there's just a bit of styling to get the uh, the quantity to display in the box. And here we have the subtotal. We also have shipping. So if I now click on shipping, 
I'll also be able to calculate the shipping from this area. We have the total and then right at the bottom under the buttons which still look the same we can also bring in some products so the user can even continue shopping by looking at the products that are down below. If I have a promotional code I should be able to click on that and then enter the code. So those are just some of the, the differences between the two. If we go and have a look at the admin interface now, you'll see that we also have this fly to cart animation option now. So what that means is that when I add to cart, you'll see there's a little animation that flies to show that I've added that item to the cart. Let's go and do a selection from an individual item. Change that to green, add to cart, and you'll see a little animation into the cart. And there we have the items in the cart. You'll see that a lot of these settings are still the same, like the, the order of the items that we've selected, the basket count, or the sum of the quantity of all the items. As we scroll down though, you'll see that you can um, also, for example, in the sidecar body, you can decide what information you want to have visible and what not. In the sidecar footer, this is where you can add uh, the shipping calculator, the shipping amount. If you have additional fees, they can also appear. You can also add the um, PayPal Express checkout, providing that you have that plugin installed and here you have the suggested products that you can either enable or disable or just disable on the mobile device so once again very easy to set up and you can then also decide what to include in that little content block and also whether it's a related upsell or a cross sell that you want to display just at the bottom of the side cart and then also a number of products. We can also change all this text, so your cart, the continue shopping button, view cart, so you're, you're in a lot of control over what happens in your cart. When it comes to styling, once again you can set the width, you can say full height or auto, open from the left or right, yeah, now for example you can change the icon for your shopping basket. Um, the position of the basket is top or bottom, offset, offset remains the same, you can change some colors, you can even add a basket shadow now. Uh, we scroll down and you can see once again the close icon, you can change from just the cross to an arrow where to um, align the right the the icon to close to the left or right so a couple of things here that you can do you can also change the color of the shopping bar color and if we keep on scrolling in the side card body you can change the delete icon here you have the um, some product padding the quantity and price displays and then here you have the quantity input style so here you can uh, decide on the, the border color the box border color the background color the input text color a couple of um, styling options there and then at the bottom once again you've got the side card footer and then also when it comes to the coupon you can also decide if you want to use an icon and what the icon should look like you've got the buttons which we have in as two plus one at the moment and you can also set you know some colors to the background and then right at the bottom you have the suggested products uh, you can decide either before the totals or after depending on where you think you'll get the best response if you want to use the style is either wide or narrow, so generally left on wide. And then you also have an option to set the image width. And if you've made a whole lot of changes and you want to reset, quickly hit the reset button. So a lot of really nice, uncomplicated 
options. Of course, easy, um, once again, same advanced options, some of your own CSS, and then also um, if your cart isn't updating, you can put on the button. It'll run a script to make sure that it does happen. And there's also some useful information here on how to override the templates if you so want to. But a really nice, easy to use plugin. And it works really well. You can add to cart. The item is added. I can go in here, and straight from here, I can go to checkout. And I can pay for my product. So a really nice, easy to use plugin, and I think a useful tool for any shopping uh, shopping website. So I hope you enjoy that video. Thank you for watching.